If I say bus speed and you think 55 miles an hour, you're in the right place. We use computers to watch videos, send emails, and do taxes. We don't care how they work. I mean, they could have little magic hamsters inside. We'd still use them. Well, if you're watching this show, it means you probably bought one. And if you're like most Americans, you're probably still wondering if you bought the right one. Everything in a computer, all the data it holds, from emails to videos, boils down to little ones and zeros. And when you put those little guys in an organized pattern, it represents bigger things. This says nerds rule. And if you check the Fortune 500s, they do. Now here's where the ones and zeros become important to you. You've heard of megabytes and gigabytes, right? Well, here's what they mean. A bit is a single one or zero. Now you take eight of those and you have a byte. You take 1,024 bytes and you have a kilobyte. You take 1,024 kilobytes and you have a megabyte. 1,024 megabytes makes, you guessed it, a gigabyte. And 1,024 gigabytes is a terabyte. So let's bring it into perspective. Your favorite Hollywood DVD has about 7 gigabytes. That means on the disc there are about 60,129,542,144 little ones and zeros. So now you're an informed consumer. Next time you think about buying a computer, you'll have a virtual yardstick. You'll know that a computer with one terabyte of hard disk space can hold a lot more what you ought to know shows than one with only 150 gigabytes. And if you have a hard time remembering, just think of the things you want to do to your computer every time it crashes. Kill a mega gigatera this thing. But we need to take it a little slow, so we'll cover more computer basics later. We just don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> Please don't make me say it again. <laughs>